Hi, I'm Trey. And I'm Monica. And this is another one of our adventures in California history. And as always, comments and likes are appreciated. And if you like this and our other videos, won't you think of subscribing here today? In this episode, Monica and I find ourselves on our bicycles headed toward the historic Jackson Square District. We want to see the building that during the great earthquake and fire was saved by whiskey. And this is it, the beautiful Hoddling Building on Hoddling and Jackson. Anson Parsons Hoddling was born in February 28, 1827, New York City. In 1852, he set sail aboard the Race Hound around Cape Horn, headed to San Francisco. At first, like most, Hanson tried his hand at gold panning, but found it much work for little reward. He soon found that serving the miners rather than mining itself was the way to go, and opened a wine and spirit business. By 1866, his business had much expanded, and he was the sole owner and operator. Hanson Parsons died in 1900 and his sons took over the business. Then, in 1906, the great San Francisco earthquake and fire destroyed the town. Well, most of the town. Members of the United States Navy laid a hose from Fisherman's Wharf one mile to Hoddling's building and managed to save it while all around was ruins. Which caused poet Charles Field to ask, if, as they say, God spanked the town for being over frisky, why did he burn the churches down and save Hoddling's whiskey? So today, Hoddling's building still stands with the plaque, iron doors on the window for fire prevention, and a heck of a story. 